Today I'm going to show you uh, what I think is a simple way to insert a horizontal navigation bar into Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. I'm using CS6 so it will look different on different versions but the code will essentially be the same. So I am starting with a blank HTML5 file. The first thing I'm going to do is click in the body and then go down to the properties panel and click on the unordered list button and then I'm going to type all of the words or the links that I would want to appear in my navigation bar okay so now you can see in your code that you have an unordered list and you have five listed items within the unordered list the next thing we want to do is make all of these items function as links so you can highlight them either in design view or in code view doesn't matter we're going to go down to the properties panel again and click in where it says link and go shift 3 and enter a hashtag symbol and then click anywhere else in design view and they are now all underlined in blue which is the default uh, to look like a link. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the code after the body tag and before the unordered list tag we are going to enter in a nav tag to show that this is navigation and then we are going to end the nav tag after the unordered list so this now puts it in um, nav navigation then we're going to create two CSS style rules, selector rules. The first one will be called nav space ul space li. This targets listed items within an unordered list that is within nav. And click OK. We're going to go ahead and go to list and change the list style type to none. As you can see when we apply that it takes away the bullet points. Next we're going to go to box and we are going to set the margin and the padding uh, to zero pixels on all sides and then we are going to change the width to a percentage and in this case we're doing 20% because we have five, five items basically you would just take your uh, number of items and divide 100 by that so if you had four items it would be 25% to make them evenly spaced across the page and then we are going to go ahead and float them left and you can see when we apply that that is what makes them go horizontal so now we have our five links horizontal so now we're going to go ahead and add another rule. This one's going to be called nav space ul space li space a. So this targets links within a listed item, within an unordered list, within nav. So here we are going to change the display to block. So you can see there's these little dotted lines now around the words that makes um, block makes it so that people can click anywhere in that block and it will work as the link instead of just clicking on the word. And then we can go ahead and text align our text and make it centered so then the words are in the middle of those blocks. And then you can go ahead and uh, you can have some fun here. Pick whatever font you like, whatever font size you like make it bold. You could change the color of your font. Let's go ahead and, I don't know, pick a blue. Uh, you can underline them, as you can see. You can do anything that you want like that. Then we could go to background. You can change the background color of your links. You can add a border. Uh, 
Oh. Your border different colors so then people can can see that they're different boxes. Uh, you don't have to do anything like that, but you can. It's an option. Then you're going to click OK. And now you've created um, a basic horizontal navigation bar.